Kate Hartman here for your fall sports update. I'm with Coach Redinger. How are you doing today? Very well, thanks, Katie. Okay, now you are the coach of the men's and women's tennis team, correct? Correct. And you're, let's talk about the women's team first. They have had quite a winning streak. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we're like an extended family, Katie, and uh, I guess it uh, carried over from last year, maybe in the fall season, a match or two, and then they won two uh, down at Hilton Head in the spring season, and of course into this fall, and didn't even realize we had a streak going, but uh, it's very cliche-ish, but you really do just go one match at a time, one game at a time, like everything else, and so consequently, um, you know, things just start to add up, I guess. Now, what happened at your last game? I heard there was something going on with, like, you didn't know if you won or if you lost or what happened? Well, on yesterday at Grove City, well, no, we, we knew we had lost. It was 8 nothing, but we have a suspended match. Uh, Katie Hostler at number two singles won the first set 6-3, lost her second set 3-6, and now she is ahead 2-1 to one in the third set. And we have to finish that out because that has some seating implications uh, when we go to the PAC tournament. But other than that, uh, no, we got beat. <laughs> okay, well, all right, now about your men's team. How are they doing this season? Yesterday was their first match in the fall. In fact, it's the first time we've had a match in the fall for the past couple of seasons. And uh, I was really quite pleased uh, with their play yesterday. Uh, they didn't win any, uh, any of the matches. We played all eight game pro sets, but I was really quite pleased with our performance. The guys hit pretty well and uh, almost won at number three doubles, got beat 8-6. And uh, at, at number uh, three singles, um, Sean Black took his man. We had seven deuces in that, in that set. So. You know, he could have won any any of those games when they're a deuce. So, you know, we played pretty well for only having practiced a couple days a week for the past two weeks. Now, how do you see the rest of the season going for both men and women? Well, the men will wrap up their uh, matches on Saturday. Hopefully the rain will stay off of us and uh, we're able to play Waynesburg. And uh, the women, uh, they have a match tomorrow with St. Vincent, a huge match uh, because they're in the PAC now and, and we need to be very successful in that match. And then they play Saturday and, and we have several more uh, PAC matches. We have to play Chatham College out of Pittsburgh for our PAC uh, seating. We have to play Washington and Jefferson, a makeup from this past Monday. Um, and we also have, um, I, I think, uh, oh, Bethany, we have, no, we played the Bethany, Teal. We have Teal for the PAC uh, seating match. So, you know, we've got a lot of work to do, plus we have some other matches. We have uh, Division Two, a strong Division Two, Mercyhurst coming in here in a couple of weeks. What do you think the difference is between this season and last season between both teams? Well, of course, we lost our uh, number one and two player last year, April Skader and Hillary Newman with the women's team, who also were players on the um, on number one doubles and number two doubles. And April holds the record for most wins in singles and doubles in a, a single season and in a career. Hillary almost caught her in just three seasons because she transferred in. But like I've been asked many times, what do you do when you graduate people? Um, Katie, we graduate young men and women every year, and so somebody else just simply has to step up. I know that sounds very simple, but somebody else has to step forward, and that's why you recruit, and that's why you keep working, and, and so, you know, the season, I'm very pleased the way the women have played so far, and we'll see. You know, we've got a lot of play yet to go. I think yesterday was a good barometer. We're not quite with um, Grove City yet, but hopefully we'll see them in three weeks at the PACs. The men, um, very, uh, very excited about the guys this year. Uh, we've got uh, some good young players. We've got three new players, and uh, we've got several returning, and they're better. And, and so consequently, um, you know, it's, I think it can be an exciting season for the guys as well.